Welcome back to Real House of Reviews. Today we are going to look at the engineering specs and go into deep dive on how strong the Honda Accord Hybrid 2018 and 2019 models really are. And can you guess how many airbags come with this car and why this car deserves a 5 star safety rating? Let's see how many airbags come with this car. To start off, we're going to talk about the front passenger and the driver. So you have the two main airbags, then you have the knee airbags for each individual, and then you have the two side curtains for them, and you have side airbags. So the side airbags are what it exactly says. They're on the side, while the curtain ones are kind of like more on top of the door. And you have two additional side curtain airbags for the rear passengers, making a total of 10 airbags. Now, let's talk about steel strength. So, this car has a variety of steel structure. 1500 megapascal is the highest rated frame that some of these cars can have. What that means is, is equal to 217,000 pound force per square inch. Or basically, it's so strong that it's really hard to bend that steel structure. So we are here at the United States Steel Corporation. And a definition of ultra high strength steel is anything above 780 megapascal. And as you can see, the, the highest strength that they can build is 1500. And as I said before, 1500 megapascal is equal to almost more than 200,000 pound force per square inch. And why is that important? One, if you see the rear of this car, you see a red beams kind of like in the rear. And what that does is it helps with the rear impact and basically prevents the car from compressing from a rear end accident. Take a look at the top structure of this car. You have a lot of 1500 uh, megapascal and 900 plus megapascal structure. And with rear impact we already talked about, now let's talk about the side impacts. The National Highway Authority does a couple tests. They do what they call a side impact to the front and a uh, side impact to the rear. The Honda Accord hybrids have received five stars for both of these tests. Okay, let's talk about the government five star rating and what it represents. So basically you have three main tests. You have a front crash test, your side crash, and your rollover. For the frontal crash, it sees how safe is the driver and passengers and we're going to talk about that in a little bit but let's talk about the rollover as you can see from this diagram you have the main 1500 megapascal structure going from the side to the top like i said that helps preventing a compression so you're more likely to survive a crash with that type of steel structure than anything else. Now you have two uh, side crash tests. One is from the front seat and rear seat aspect. How safe are you in the, as a front passenger, a driver, or a rear passenger? And with that same structural steel, you can see that they have rated them five stars. Now let's take a look at the frontal crash. As you can see here, uh, there is no 1500 or even 900 plus structural steel in the front. And why is that? That's because your engine is such a strong component in your front area that it takes a lot of energy and force to compress that and push it towards you. So that accounts for why there is less strength in the steel structure in the front end. Now let's talk about the Honda sensing features. One of the first ones I want to talk about is the collision mitigation system. It's a braking and a warning system. At first, if you have a car approaching a pedestrian, the system will just give you a visual and sound warning. 
and once you get closer and you take no action, it will try to do light breaking and eventually go full break if you don't do anything. Next is the road departure system. Basically, if you are come out of your lane, what it does is either apply braking or try to get you back in the lane. So you will feel your steering wheel and your braking system actually taking over and try to prevent you from leaving the lane unless you give an indicator. If you cross the detected lane, it activates a warning system and then can adjust the steering and braking if needed. Next is the adaptive cruise control with low speed follow. What this does is it keeps pace with the car in front of you. So if you're on the highway and the car slows down, your car will automatically slow down at a preset distance that you can control. It can be more further away or more close by. One of my favorite features is the lane keeping assist and what this does is a camera pretty much maintains you in the center of the lane but be warned that there are issues with during construction zones. Another feature with the Honda Sensing is the traffic sign recognition and what it does is a little camera reads the speed limit sign for you and displays it on the screen. We have seen some issues where it does not properly display the speed limits or has issue translating some of the signs. So be warned and we will keep you updated on that issue. 